than many pianists there is high point of history of piano concerto there is the biggest Rachmaninoff concerto and maybe the beautifulest and it is only one vision so concert starts with <laughs> of whole third piano concerto. It's not only for first movement, but also it comes in slow movement and in finale. Second theme of this concerto comes first in a scherzo variant. So it's the melody which will be in some bars later. Such adventures of themes are very typical for Rachmaninoff. For example, in a reprise of first movement, boss themes, main theme. And the second theme, you, you will get it in the form of two cadenzas. So first cadenza has also two variants you can choose. And the second cadenza is smaller and starts. element logical to prepare with beginning of piano to prepare this great culmination. Uh, second movement is lyrical culmination of the work. It's wonderful melody combining Russian and Oriental folklore. Finale is sta uh, starting a uh, motoric, very energetic team. Which becomes even more uh, powerful in the second team. After this second theme comes the lyric theme of finale, one of beautifulest melodies of Rachmaninoff.
part of finale is scherzo, fantastic movement, is world of Russian fairy tale. The concert uh, finishes, I repeat, with the greatest culmination, I think, the, the beautifulest culmination ever written by Rachmaninoff. Without orchestra, almost impossible to play. But uh, I remember e even the not very happy performances of some pianists. This culmination really can excuse everything. It's, nobody can be cold uh, during this music. Mm -hmm. 